Hello guys, I hope you are doing great. Welcome to another great lesson here on English Fit. It's always fun to watch movies and learn English vocabulary, expressions, idioms, etc. So let's watch another great scene of a movie together and learn many useful stuff. You love me? I can't believe I said that. Why did I say that? Who says that? I should just go. Hold on. Wait a minute. You love me? I can't believe I said that. Why did I say that? Who says that? I should just go. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on used to tell someone to wait for a short time. For example, hold on. I'll be ready in just a moment. Hold on. Hold on also used to say that you are confused or surprised by something that you have just heard or read and want to understand it. For example, now, hold on, did? That wasn't what we agreed at all. So here, hold on means that you are surprised and confused and you want to understand something. Hold on. This is also used to say to manage to stay alive to deal with a difficult situation. For example, we just had to hold on until help arrived. What's wrong with somebody or something means what's the problem with somebody or something. For example, what's wrong with this computer? It keeps turning off all on its own. Or what's wrong with Sarah? She's been in a bad mood all day. What's a problem with her? I promise you these. Olives. Yeah. Thanks. I love you. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Why are we still sitting here? Let's go. We can still make last call. What do you say, Lil? I promise you these. Olives. Yeah. Thanks. I love you. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Why are we still sitting here? Let's go. We can still make last call. What do you say, Lil? Last call. This is a nice idiom. In American English, last call is the time when customers in a bar can order one more drink before the bar closes. That's called last call. In British English, this is called last orders. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. <laughs> is you a pirate? Okay, I patch gone. We can't just abandon Ted. If... Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. <laughs> Is you a pirate? Okay, I patch gone. We can't just abandon Ted. Bottle of rum. Guys, rum is a strong alcoholic drink made from the juice of the sugar cane plant. Rum. The second meaning of rum is unusual and strange, which is used as an adjective. He said he wasn't coming, which I thought was a bit rum, which means strange and unusual. Pirate. As you can see in this picture, pirate is a person who sails in a ship and attacks other ships in order to steal from them. Pirate. Eye patch. Eye patch. Eye patch is a covering worn over the eye to protect it from actually some damages or sores. If it doesn't go well up there, he's going to need some support. It's been like 20 minutes. You think they're doing it? You think they're doing it in front of the dogs? Mm -hmm. Doggy style. <laughs> Hey, this girl in college, she had this golden retriever. Oh, if it doesn't go well up there, he's gonna need some support. It's been like 20 minutes. You think they're doing it? You think they're doing it in front of the dogs? Mm -hmm. Doggy style. <laughs> hey, this girl in college, she had this golden retriever. Abandon. Abandon means to leave a place, thing, or person, usually forever. For example, we were sinking fast and the captain gave the order to abandon ship which means to leave this place, leave the ship forever.
If it doesn't go well up there, it's gonna need some support. So guys, repeat after me. If it doesn't go well up there, it's gonna need some support. He's gonna need some support. Some support. It doesn't go well up there, he's gonna need some support. It's been like 20 minutes. You think they're doing it? You think they're doing it in front of the dogs? Mm -hmm. Doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this girl in college, she had this golden retriever. You think they are doing it? So we say it like, you think they're doing it? You think they're doing it? You think they're doing it? Retriever. Retriever is a large dog with thick black or light brown fur. This dog is called Retriever. Okay, we can go to the bar. Just stop talking. Hit it, Ranji. Okay, we can go to the bar. Just stop talking. Hit it, Ranji. Hit it. Hit it means to start something such as a machine or begin doing something usually need. This is usually used as an imperative. For example, hit it, man. Let's go. So when you tell this story to your friends, could you avoid the word psycho? <laughs> I'd prefer eccentric. Good night, psycho. So when you tell this story to your friends, could you avoid the word psycho? I'd prefer eccentric. Good night, psycho. Psycho, P is not pronounced, psycho. Psycho is someone who is crazy and frightening. For example, he suddenly went psycho and started shooting in all directions. A person who is crazy and frightening. Eccentric. Eccentric is something that is strange or unusual, sometimes in a humorous way. Eccentric. For example, she was an elderly eccentric who lived with 25 cats. So I guess this person is strange and unusual. Great. Um, how do I get to the F train? Oh, um, two blocks that way and take a right. Um, how do I get to the F train? Oh, um, two blocks, that way, and take a right. How do I get to? How do I get to? Which means, please show me or tell me the best way to reach a place. So if you don't know where and how to go to this place, to a special place, you can use this question. For example, how do I get to a hotel? What? I'm done being single. I'm not good at it. Look, obviously, you can't tell a woman you just met you love her. You know what? I'm done being single. I'm not good at it. Look, obviously, you can't tell a woman you just met you love her. I'm done. I'm done here means I'm tired of continuing to do something. For example, I'm done being single, which means I'm tired of being single, or I'm done working here. I'm tired of working in this place. Good at something. If you are good at something, you are very skilled at something. For example, I'm really good at swimming, which means I'm really skilled at swimming. I have these skills. It sucks that you can't. I'll tell you something though. If a woman, not you, just some hypothetical woman, were to bear with me through all this, but it sucks that you can't. I'll tell you something though. If a woman, 
not you, just some hypothetical woman, were to bear with me through all this. Suck. Suck means to be bad or worthless. For example, we all thought the movie sucked. The movie was very bad and worthless. In spoken English, something sucks means not polite, used when you dislike something very much or think something is very bad. For example, if you ask me, the whole thing sucks. Hypothetical 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 is based on a situation that is not real but that might happen. So we speak about something that is not real. For example, the question is completely hypothetical, which means this question is based on a situation that is not real. This is not a real question. Bear. Bear. But it sucks that you can't. I'll tell you something though. If a woman, not you, just some hypothetical woman, were to bear with me through all this. As a verb means to bravely accept or deal with a painful, difficult, or upsetting situation. And the best synonym for this verb is stand. Yes, stand. For example, she was afraid she wouldn't be able to bear the pain, which means to deal with this difficult situation and this pain. Bear as a noun, as you can see in this picture, is a large, strong animal with thick fur that eats flesh, fruit, and insects. I think I'd make a damn good husband, because that's the stuff I'd be good at. Stuff like making her laugh, and, and being a good father, and walking her five hypothetical dogs. I think I'd make a damn good husband, because that's the stuff I'd be good at. Stuff like making her laugh and, and being a good father and walking her five hypothetical dogs. Damn good. It means really good, very good, so good. It's a very informal expression. For example, he's a damn good driver, which means he's a very good driver. And I'm a good handshaker. That's a pretty great handshake. And I'm a good handshaker. That's a pretty great handshake. Handshake. As you can see in this picture, guys, handshake is a greeting in which two people who are facing each other take hold of each other's right hand and move it up and down. Handshake. That was it. I'll probably never see her again. What? That was the signal. That long, lingering handshake, you should have kissed her. That was it. I'll probably never see her again. What? That was the signal. That long, lingering handshake, you should have kissed her. Lingering. Lingering means lasting and continuing a long time. This is a very nice adjective. For example, she gave him a long lingering kiss. So this kiss continued a long time. You should have kissed her. So they say it like, you should have kissed her. You should have kissed her. You should have kissed her. Trust me, I've seen the signal. That was not the signal. Yeah, Ted, we're not on you anymore. <laughs> to my fiance. To the future. <laughs> Guys, trust me, I've seen the signal. That was not the signal. Yeah, Ted, we're not on you anymore. <laughs> to my fiance. To the future. Turned on, which means sexually aroused and attracted. She was turned on when she saw her boyfriend naked. So she was sexually attracted to her boyfriend. By the way, you should have kissed her. Carl, you guys weren't there. 
I am so turned on right now. <laughs> By the way, you should have kissed her. Carl, you guys weren't there. I am so turned on right now. <laughs> We are not on you, which means we don't agree with you here. We are not on you. This is a very nice informal idiom. Oh yeah, I hope you enjoyed learning English with us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you wouldn't miss the new lessons. You can watch our new lessons on Sundays and Thursdays. Find our new English online courses at EnglishFitCourses.com See you in the next lesson.